and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of Fluid Code and Geeks for Geeks within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. So today's problem is search pattern which is marked as a medium level problem. Let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So we will be given two strings pattern and txt and its length can be anything from 1 to 10 raised to the power 6. Okay, alright. And what we have to do? We have to give, we have to return all the occurrences of the pattern string in the text string. What does this mean? This means, suppose this is a pattern AB. I have to tell the indexes in this TXT where this pattern can be fit, where this pattern lies. Okay, so if you will see at zero index, A is there. So from zero index, if I will try this AB, it will be there. Okay, all right. Similarly, if I will start from this uh, three index, zero, one, two, three. So from three also, this pattern will exist a b okay so we will return 0 comma 3 but if you will see any other index if you will see one index from one index a b is not there from two index a b is not there okay i hope this one will be clear similarly similarly let's take this example a a b a okay so from for zero index a a b a is present starting and let's say the whole a pattern lies at zero index whole pattern lies from nine index as well nine indexes can be anything like uh, this Okay. And again from 12 index, 12 index is this, from 12 index again this pattern is lying, I will simply return. Alright, now how are we going to solve this? I hope the problem statement will be clear. Now let's see how I am going to solve this. It's a very very good example and the brute force approach of it is very very simple. What I will do, I will start one, I will place two pointers at one at this A and another at this A. And whenever I will be succeeding, let's say the whole of the pattern is covered, I will add the I index a starting one. Okay. Similarly, after that, I again move to this B. Again, I will try to check and uh, check if they are uh, matching or not. If it is not matching, again, I will move to the starting. Again, I will move to the starting and again do the same thing. Okay. All right. But the time complexity for this will be big O of N square, N into M, which can be anything from 10 raised to the power 6 which is not a good way, which is not a good way. Definitely it will give me, what it will give me, it will give me TLE. Okay, I hope the uh, this approach will be clear, brute force approach will be clear, but it will give me TLE, okay. So we have to start from a, another way. We have to start from another way, okay. Let's take one pattern and um, one common, let's say, good example so that it becomes more clear to us. Something like this. This is our text. Okay, this is our text. So guys, this question can't be explained within five minutes. So I hope this one will be uh, clear. It will take some good time because KMP algorithm is very, very typical in itself. And to explain it is also a great uh, task. Okay, all right. So this is our pattern. Okay, and now I have to tell ki, um, what is the, uh, how many indexes this is occurring. Okay, so what I will do, I will start from here. Okay, this is matching. This is also matching. This is also matching, okay. So it is matching till this point. It is matching till this point, A, B, C, okay. But now C is there and X is there. C is there and X is there. Oh, it is not matching. So what I will do is I started from this A. Again, I have to start checking from this B. I have to again start checking from this B and this A. Again, uh, so now look, this much is wasted. This much is wasted. Again, I will start from B, A. No, it is not matching. Again, I will check from C to A. No, it is not matching. Again, I will check from A. Okay, it is matching. It is matching. And now suppose again at any point uh, later it comes key at last point also the character is not matching. So again, I have to start from the very starting, which is a very, very wrong use case because I have to again and again check from the very starting. So can we do anything key? Can we do anything? We can say like, okay, this much I have covered and I don't want to check it again. I don't want to check it again. Okay. All right. What I'm saying is what I'm saying. Let's be very, very um, attentive here. A, B, C, A, B. Till this point it is covered. Till this point it is covered. Okay. All right. Now look at any point. Can I say ki this A, B is occurring twice? This AB is occurring twice. Okay. Like from the prefix, from the prefix, this prefix AB is again repeating. This prefix AB is again repeating here. Okay. And now uh, one more thing is there as I'm, we are stuck at this X, this AB is already covered in the text as well. This AB is already covered in the text as well. And this AB is again coming twice. Okay. All right. So this means ki, uh, we don't need to start from very starting. We don't need to start from very starting. I can start from this C. Okay, I can start from this. See, this was, look, this was the point. This was the point where we were mismatching. Okay, now what I'm saying 
कि ए बी इज प्रेजेंट हेयर वंस एंड द प्रिफिक्स ए बी दिस प्रिफिक्स प्रिफिक्स इज ऑलवेज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो ओके सो दिस प्रिफिक्स ए बी इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट वंस एंड इट इज कवर्ड एज वेल इट इज कवर्ड इन द टारगेट टेक्स्ट एज वेल सो आई डोंट नॉट नीड टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वेरी स्टार्टिंग आई कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस सी I can start from this C and keep on checking. Okay, so you can see this AB is covered. AB is safe again. Okay, so this is what I am trying to say. So if at any point we can find out, we can find out the uh, prefix I can get. So we can start from that point. I hope till this point it will be clear. So again I will repeat. I have to find out the longest prefix which is also the suffix. Longest prefix which is also the suffix. Okay, so if I am at this c i will get this c so i can say this ab is a prefix which is also the suffix which is also the suffix okay so i will start from this point all right so how are we how am i going to get this how am i going to get this it is very very simple it is very very simple uh, let me take one more example to first of all get the longest prefix a a b a okay all right and let's take one more ab uh it will be not a good one let's take another one a b a a b something like this something like this okay all right so if i have to create if i have to get the longest prefix till that point what i will do a for first point it will be zero okay for b look i will be having one pointer here i will be having one pointer here okay so whenever it will be matching i will be incrementing both pointer whenever it will be matching i will be incrementing both the pointers okay all right so a and b is matching not matching again it will be zero i will be again uh, incrementing this only b i will be only incrementing this pull point okay all right so again o oh, it is matching now it is matching it is matching so zero and one so i will be pointing um, one to it like one okay one point is matches one point is matching all right so it will be b here now pointer will be increased both pointer will be increased whenever i will be getting the same okay all right now again here oh it is not matching it is not matching okay so when it will not match what i will do is um yeah whatever what i will do is i will check ki this a is this pointing to zero is this minus 1 like a pointer is this so it's minus 1 is this pointing to zero no it is not pointing to zero okay so what i will do i will move my length of length is basically this pointer so it will be pointing to length minus 1 that is 0 okay so it will be pointing to this and another pointer another pointer will be at this a only another pointer will be at this a only okay all right again i will check from the very starting again i will check from the very starting so a and a both are matching okay i will again fill one and now both pointers will be increased so this one will be at b this one will be here and again they are matching okay so it will be a like previous one and now increase it by one two okay so what does this mean this means this means ki if i will delete all these things this is our one longest prefix suffix array which is created okay so if i will want to tell you if at this point at this point i can say i have a prefix of length one i have a prefix of length one so a and a okay all right now b is not so it is not uh, uh b is not there so it is not having prefix again so at this point again i can say like one length prefix is there one length prefix is there okay all right after that again uh, what i will do b is there. i got b here i got b so i will say two is two two means two length prefix is there from the starting okay all right so longest prefix suffix array we will create and how i am going to use it how i am going to use it is again very very good way so if i will take this one only if i will take this one only a a b a so what will be the longest prefix suffix of this uh, as i told it will be zero it is matching one again b and a is not matching so it will be again zero so a is matching one zero one zero so it will not be a good one to example but let's take it so look what i will do a a b a till this point a a b a till this point a uh, one pointer i got so i'm starting from zero so zero will be added now again i don't need to move to this a again i don't need to move to this a here and start from very starting here as well okay all right why because uh, one here you can see at the last last uh, covered a is there and which is pointing to one which is pointing to one means one index okay so it means this has one uh, till this point uh, if i am currently at this outside of this i can say there is a suffix 
a which is also the prefix which is also the prefix a okay so i it means i will come to this point i will come to this point okay all right so uh, now i will be checking so look my one pointer will be at this point a uh, i think it's not being clear here but let's say here a okay so what i will say one point is covered one point is covered so this a is already covered this a is already covered and don't need to cover it again okay i hope this one will be clear and when i will be writing the code of it it will become more clear to you let's take one more example so that uh, let's take something like a a a b okay all right and my text is something like a a b okay so a very very ex simple example i'm taking text is this and uh, pattern is this okay all right so and this if i will fill it will be something like 0 1 0 okay all right now i will start from this a it is matching it is matching but this is not matching this is not matching my pointer is at this b my pointer at this b i will check minus one of this i will check this b minus one which is a which is a this okay so it is having one it is having one which means ki one length prefix is covered one length prefix is covered and that is true as well this is why it's covered okay so one length prefix is covered what i will do instead of um, checking from the very starting instead of checking pointing moving those pointer to a and a what i can get is till this point till this point till this point one length is one length is already uh, covered one length is already covered so what i will do i will be checking one index i will be checking one index so one and one yeah it is matching I increase both so again it is matching and i will simply get the result which means ki i am not repeating it again i am not starting from the very starting so this is what longest prefix suffix is covering okay i hope it will be clear to you it's a bit tricky but i will request everyone to please sit with pen and uh, paper and try to cover it by yourself as well okay all right so let me write the code for it then okay so first of all what i will do i will be calculating the longest prefix suffix of pattern longest prefix suffix of pattern so that i don't need to get it again okay all right so what i will do i will simply write void and i will be writing the function name as calculate longest prefix suffix lps and uh, it will be getting one string pattern okay and another thing which it will be getting is uh, longest prefix suffix array which i will be i can return it as well but let's take it as this only so int n is equal to l uh, pat dot length so basically i don't need to uh, so that i don't need to write it again and again and after that let's take two variables length will be currently zero and uh, um, another thing another variable let's take i is equal to one so basically length at any point will be the length of longest prefix which is also a suffix okay and i will be uh, moving always forward length can be zero at any point as well so i will now again write while i is less than n means uh, till the last length of the string and i will keep on moving if pat dot caret i is equal to pat dot caret length it means one more length i've got one more uh, long prefix one more will be added in the prefix length will become equal to this okay and lps of i will be equal to length okay and uh, now i will be also added which means key I have, uh, let's say at i point, I have said the length of longest prefix suffix is this length, and now I move forward further as well. Okay, all right. Other than that, other than that, if length is equal to zero, if length is not equal to zero at that point, uh, it means look, pattern is not pattern is not matched. Now the pattern is not matched, but some length I've already covered. Some length I've already covered. So new length will be length is equal to longest prefix suffix of length minus one okay longest prefix suffix of length minus one otherwise otherwise lps of i will be equal to zero and i plus plus move to the next pointer okay it means key now i have to start from very beginning i have to start from very beginning so lps of i is zero because i'm starting from very beginning and now i'm incrementing i plus plus okay all right so this is basically uh longest prefix suffix code and moving on now i will be writing the code for um, yeah okay so now i will be declaring one variable let's take first of all i will be declaring this array list 
it's actually 2 a.m in the morning and i'm recording the video so please give a subscribe button hit the subscribe button okay it's a bit tough to explain as well but i'm trying again i will be having two variables j for the pattern and uh, let's say f to check if i'm starting if i've got the pattern so i will be storing this f index at any point if i get the pattern i will be storing the f index okay all right and another let's take i equal to zero for the text as well okay all right i will be running the loop uh, let's take this n again here so it will be text length at this point it will be text length okay so while i is less than n which means i have to cover till the last okay and if pattern dot caret j is equal to txt dot caret i is equal to txt dot caret i so what i will do i will simply store my increment my i i will increment my j as well and yeah that's it that's it what i will do okay all right now again if my j is equal to let's say pattern dot pattern dot length which means i have covered i have reached till the last if j is equal to pattern dot length which means whole of the pattern is whole of the pattern is covered at that point what i will do i will simply increment my flag f okay and now what i have to add i have to add i minus j because look i has reached if a b is pointing if a b is covered so i will be pointing to something like 2 i will be pointing to 2 okay all right now a b is a b is what pattern is currently my j will be at this also j will be also at this uh, 2 so 2 minus 2 0 all right other than that if let's suppose i have covered this whole a b now this a b is also covered at this point what will be my j uh, what will be my a i i will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 i will be 5 pattern will be 2 so 5 minus 2 3 will be added okay in this way i will be adding and now again i will not uh, let's say um, reset my j to uh, again from 0 i will be resetting to j minus 1 okay which is means again i am using the longest prefix suffix okay all right other than that else if else if i is less than n which means now i am checking key uh, it's been let's say it means key i have not got i have not got my uh, fully covered so now i will be not starting from very beginning i will be doing something like this and now pat dot caret j is not equal to txt dot caret i okay it means now i have got something issue i have got some issue so i have to reset i have to reset okay so again i will be writing something like this only okay so if you can say my j is currently if j is not equal to zero so what j will be j will be equal to lps of j minus one okay other than otherwise if j is not equal to 0 means there is few possibility there is few possibility and at that point i will be simply doing i is equal to i plus 1 means start from very beginning means start from very beginning okay j is 0 okay so i will be starting i as well from the very beginning and at last here simply i will return my result which i am adding okay all right okay so i will simply return my result but before that i have just missed one thing i haven't called this calculate lps so i will be calling it let's say here and before that i have to declare one lps array as well which i am passing so let's do both things int lps is equal to new int of uh, lps lps length is what pat dot length something like this and uh, after that what i will do i will simply uh, calculate lps call calculate lps it will be passing through things first one is pad and another one is lps array okay something like this let's try to submit it now and uh, i think there will be few errors as well because i'm submitting it let's say it's a long code but oh it is getting accepted let's try to directly submit it meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and uh, yeah it will motivate me a lot i agree the explanation can be a bit better but i will learn okay so yeah please uh, subscribe the channel and it is getting accepted i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye